Hey, how you doing? Hey, Rob Cushing here from the BetterClaim.com music blog and uh, coming at you with another video on a, a blog post here. Um, I have the link to the original blog post along with my contact information and uh, some more information about what I do at the bottom here. So just go, if you're on, watch this on YouTube, that's all down there. Check it out, okay? If you guys find this content of value, uh, definitely reach back and let me know too, okay? Um, what I want to talk to you about today is... Um, so here's the thing, okay? You're probably going to be surprised to learn that your goal in music or your music business, whatever business you do, your goal in music is not to provide customer or listener satisfaction. Matter of fact, if you're focusing on that, on customer satisfaction, um, you're focusing on the wrong target. You know? So this is probably going to be more focused on the side of those, you know, like I said, music side of things, okay? Because this is what we talked about here. All right. Um, so if you don't think this is going to apply to you, guess again. Okay, so I want you to really stick with me on this video. Okay, so here's the first thing. First off, um, so many bands, so many music businesses focus so much on their current customers or listeners, they tend to lose sight of the big picture, right? And what do I mean by that? Basically that, I, I've seen this a lot, and I, and I used to be this way myself. It, the, there's a fear that if you over-promote uh, over -promote or if you push your product in like an overly aggressive way that you'll somehow tarnish your image or, or brand of your band, right? Or your music business. And there's actually a great chapter in that, yeah, I'm going to bring it up again, the 10X Rule Book by Grant Cardone. There's actually a great chapter in that that I constantly promote that dwells on this very topic. Okay. And this worry about over-promoting or fearing that like you're getting your stuff out there too much, it's, that's, that's going to keep you down. That worry is that is what's going to keep you down, and here's why, okay? Um, odds are that if you don't promote heavily to new customers, especially with all the different music acts and all the different music businesses out there, chances are that you're not going to become well-known, and as a result, you're never going to end up growing your fan base or getting your name out there. I mean, so often there's that fear that accepts that promotion is going to offend your current fan base and turn them off to you, and, and I get that. Like I said, it used to be a fear of mine. Yeah, you know, I think it's a human nature thing, all right. But you know, in the book, it, there's a really good point that Grant brings to light. It's really turned around my thought process on this. Um, here it is: if you fail to do whatever it takes to attract new customers, and instead just concentrate on your current list you have now because you're worried about negative reaction, you might as well just close up shop now. Okay? You do not want to be focusing on customer satisfaction is your main goal. And what you do want to be able to do is increase those number of customers. Okay, And keeping your current list happy shouldn't be your number one focus. Why? Because if you're a decent band or a music business, your product, whatever shape or form it could be, you know, recording studio services, your music, um, label offerings, etc., you should just over deliver just by your nature. You should only be releasing an album that has your best catchy material in it. Uh, if you're a recording studio, you should be delivering the best quality in a timely format and, and offering more services to the point of over-delivering to your customer. Because trust me, um, if you're delivering a subpar product, the marketplace is going to take care of you and weed you out, okay? So you want to focus more on attracting new customers rather than just satisfying the ones you have now, right? And I'm not saying to discount customer service entirely. You know, I'm using customers and listeners kind of the same deal. I'm not saying to discount that entirely, okay? But if you look at it this way, um, attracting new customers to your band or your music business is the only way of increasing your customer satisfaction. You cannot, I know it sounds weird, right? You cannot increase customer satisfaction if you are not increasing your number of customers, period. I'm going to repeat that again. This is really important, okay? You cannot increase customer satisfaction if you are not increasing your number of customers. So whatever product that you offer, whatever price level should always over deliver from what your customer expects, okay? You want to have, um, you want to have a mindset that your only dissatisfied customers are those who either don't have your product yet or already have it and aren't using it properly, okay? Um, current customer issues, I mean, you can fix that as they come. They shouldn't be a main focus. You know, increasing customers should be. Because when it comes down to it, you are not delivering a pitch. You're delivering something which you believe to be true. Okay? 
and this is a point that most businesses in general, and again, you know, I use the music business um, band as a business parallel. This is a point that you all, that all of us, <laughs> most of us in general, fail to understand. Okay. Um, so, for instance, you ever get a survey sent to you by customers, but you know, by companies. You ever get a survey sent to you by companies that you purchased from that they're asking for your thoughts and their customer service? So, they tend to focus more so much on feedback from current clients that they're really failing to aggressively acquire and expand their customer list, okay? And as a result, they lose sight of the main thing that's going to keep them growing and profitable. It would be better and make more sense if they actually sent a survey to those who are not customers to ask why they didn't acquire their business. You know, for example, do you, do you think the Black Keys would have been, become as big as they are today had they only concentrated solely on the population of their hometown of Akron, Ohio, and nowhere else? Or, you know, that maybe Pro Tools by Avid. Um, Pro Tools, do you, do you think the Pro Tools would become such a widely used recording studio software suite? And had they only marketed the first 50 people who bought their product and no one else? No. I mean, granted, the, the Black Keys care about their fans. You know, Avid cares about their customer base and they want to ensure that they're continuing to deliver a great product. Okay, absolutely. But I guarantee you that both the Black Keys. And Avid, and I'm just using these two, two examples, guys. I, I guarantee you that both those have this main goal in common. Get as many customers for their product as possible before anything else. Okay? So if you're still concerned about whether you should actually make your current customer satisfaction your primary focus, remember this. And, and Grant says this in his book as is. Okay? Not being a customer makes it impossible for me to become a satisfied customer. I'm going to repeat that again. Not being a customer makes not being a customer makes it impossible for me to become a satisfied customer. Okay? So you've got to make sure you're constantly as your main goal always attracting new customers, new listeners, expanding your fan base. If you're delivering something of value to the point of over delivering, that current customer service is going to take care of itself, trust me. And you'll continue to get more popular and you're going to grow also. Okay? So, so now your question is, well, how do I attract new customers? How do I build a bigger fan base? And I could definitely help you with that, um, just as I have helped countless others who wanted to expand and grow their music acts and, and music businesses. And it starts by going to my, my website, okay, and finding out more about what I do and how I can help you. And that website is www.stepuponstage.com, www.stepuponstage.com. That's down below, okay? And there you're going to learn more about how to take what you're doing to the next level. You get yourself unstuck from mediocrity and just getting by. And then you can really make an impact on your band and music business. All right. So um, with that, my name is Rob Cushing from the betterclaim.com music blog. I hope you found this video of value. Bach Arms with me. Watch that link to my video below. And uh, also some really cool stuff that I want to let you know about too. Um, if you're actually shopping for music gear, I have a really cool way to get cash back on music gear that you are already going to buy anyway from places that you were going to buy from anyway. So if that intrigues you, message me directly and I'm going to um, get back to you and fill you in on that. Okay. So without any further ado, once again, Rob Chris from thebetterclaim.com, music blog, and I uh, hope you found this of value. Take care, guys. We'll talk soon. Bye.